What's going on, everyone? Leo here with Tejero Track, bringing you local small business owner here in Solano County the tips about how to get your business uh, to increase their online presence, right? So even more customers can find you. Um, today, I'm going to be talking about this uh, article that I saw over here. It says voice local marketing, but still it applies for local uh, businesses here in Solano County. It's a really good article that I went through real quick, and, and then I want to share some of this stuff and perhaps provide some of my feedback as well. What I encounter of working with local business owners here in Fairfield, Vacaville, Vallejo, and, and other cities in Solano County. So, all right. The title of this is Attract More Local Customers with an Online Business Profile. And we're going to be reading a little more, but just to give you an idea, right, perhaps you've seen, you try to find your business on Google, where Google, uh, when it has information about your business, is because it created a, an online business profile. Or, for example, Yelp, right? Yelp provides an online business profile. But let's continue here. Um, an online business profile makes it easier for local customers to find and contact you. So that's why it's important, right? Because I'm sure you've seen if you are a store that gets a lot of high volume of customers or little volume of customers, if you see family members or friends in your area, uh, a lot of the times probably they are on the phones. So this is why uh, we are stressing here in reference to an online business profile makes it easier for local customers to find and contact you because a lot of times when we need services, products, um, we go online. Uh, we have nowadays with the phone, it's so easy to just try to find something, okay, that don't try to rely too much on uh, billboards or yellow pages, print out, I don't know, right? Do some, take some advantage of that real estate that you have in, in, as well on, uh, on the people's palm of their hands, which is their phone. Online business profiles usually includes basic contact information such as your business name, phone number, hours of operation, street address, and website address. One thing I would recommend, though, is that you keep the same information in all the different places where you're going to be listing your, your business. I will recommend you to actually type in in a Word document uh, what you want your business to information, detail information to be like, right? Contact address um, about your business uh, hours and all that, because it's also going to help you to um, be a process in the future. And so anybody that comes in, you make changes, you're going to have that document there as a base, right? So everybody else, everything, every time you make changes or you need to put into a online business profile, you, you have that and it applies the same everywhere that you list your business online. And the reason why that is important because you don't want, uh, when you go, if somebody Googles your information, you don't want discrepancies on the information that comes up about your business. For example, I was looking at a friend of mine yesterday. Uh, what are the name? Um, they do t-shirts. Um, ah, gosh. Um, all right, go ahead and scroll down. Uh, is it Adriana's Tees? Adriana's Tees. Let's see if that's the one. Adriana T-shirts. Back on Vale. Oh, Dream Street. So let's do a search for these Dream, Dream Street Tees. So, for example, Dream T. Street T's. As you notice, there's a 9254 number here. Business hours are not even listed here. Uh, so I can make some suggestions and kind of help her out. They should definitely uh, add some more pictures. But let's see what Yelp says about them. Yelp, uh, it looks like they're been building a lot on Yelp. They have 39 pictures there, uh, seven reviews. But if you notice here, um, it has a different phone number. So that is why it's important that you uh, monitor your information online because you don't want it to have different information. It could be confusion uh, uh, and it can create a little bit of, um, if people doesn't know you, it can create a little bit of objection to try to work with you because of that situation. All right, so let's see. How can an online business profile help my business? That's a great question. Online business profiles are included near the top of search results pages. 
Popular search engines like Google, Bing, and Yahoo provide business profiles along with maps and direction to display business locations. You can see here, this is a, a business profile and we saw one over here, right? This is a business profile that comes up on Google when somebody does a search. Um, Google My Business offers local brick and mortar stores the opportunity to target local consumers who may be searching for their storefront via mobile devices, which we know it, it, it happens a lot. I mean, if we go to, I can show you some data um, to show you how much um, uh, you should be worried about uh, being, having an online presence just because so much of it comes on through mobile. Um, people do a lot of searches through mobile, so you have to have that in mind as well, right? That everything that you do uh, should have some mobile uh, flexibility as well. So for example, Um, El Caracol is a restaurant in Vacaville. Uh, yeah, I want that, but not right now. Um, let's see info. Now let's go to Insight, and you'll see how much traffic um, it will comes from mobile. So, so this is good right here. This is good research, right? What people are, how people are finding. What are the keywords that are coming up? How? What is this? These are the popular phrases or keywords that comes up when people find your business. So a lot of people are restaurant near my near me. So that's important that you complete your profile, including the address, because obviously Google look at, at, at that to see what businesses are uh, restaurants, a caracol, caracol restaurant. So those are great information in reference to what a great keywords to go for, especially if you're going to be paying, if you're going to be doing some um, uh, Google search paid advertising. Uh, so this is direct. Let's see. I'm trying to go to show you how important it is to this is your website request direction. See, let, this is why it's important to have everything in it because, as you can see here, uh, if they don't have a business profile, it, when people Google something, it doesn't make it easier for them to do stuff like this, like visit the website or request directions, call you, uh, direction requests. phone calls, and as you can see, there's, um, <clears throat> that's another benefit of having it, right? Because obviously um, it makes it so easy for people to call uh, your business when you have a profile because they're doing a lot of search through their phone. Um, so probably I had to go and find the details more in depth in reference to um, the type of search they have in total search mm, I don't know we'll, we'll go back to that to see how much data you can get uh, if you can get any data in reference how much traffic is, is from the phone um, so search engine wants to provide the best most accurate and up-to-date information to those searching for information to do so search engines gather relevant information across the internet to provide accurate search results now keyword here it says search engines gather relevant information across the internet so that's what i mentioned it is important that when you set up business profiles online that everything matches because google is gathering all the information and the more accurate it is everywhere meaning every every location that you are listed it shows the same information, the stronger Google will feel about providing results search, uh, results um, back in this where some people are searching for something related to your business or where people are searching for similar business about yours or uh, when they're actually searching for your business. To do so, search engines gather, okay, when posting business information on your website, social media pages, or in search engine direct directories or online business directories, and business review websites, make sure to use the same information on each platform, which is what I mentioned. Very important. Make sure to sh make sure to use the same information on each platform. For example, if you use different business phone numbers on your website, <laughs> funny, huh? Uh, on your website and social media pages, your business information may be deemed incorrect or outdated, outdated by search engine. 
this means your profile may not be included in the search results. So it's a, again, right, what I mentioned earlier, and that's why it's important to have the, your business profile uh, listed the same everywhere. Um, by the way, you can take, uh, you can create your business profile, but people can create it as well. See, this is where the problem can come in. People, you don't, if you think that, oh, Leo, I, I don't, I don't need to worry about that, right? Because I'm not online. Well, people will go in there and actually create it. Anybody can go in there and create a business profile. Um, and and Google, Yelp, they don't need to verify. It. Um, they they just basically take your information, take your word for it, and 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 people can go in there, and that's where confusion may happen. That's why it's important you as a business owner to take responsibility and ownership uh, of actually creating the online profile for your business before somebody else goes and create it with incorrect information. So how to reach local customers? Right in the use of a phone book, wow, to look up local businesses, more and more people conduct simple online searches like I just did these days to find what they're looking for. By providing business by providing basic business contact information online, you can help customers find your business quickly and save customers the time and trouble of searching individual websites to find suitable matches. Imagine that your business was the only one of its kind in your area. Now consider a customer in your area decides to conduct a search for the goods and services you provide, but only find similar businesses located hours away. This customer realizes they have no choice but to contact one of the, these businesses. Not only is this inconvenient for the customers, but if your business had been listed in the search result, that customers will probably have contacted you instead. Customers performing local searches are typically in need of goods and services immediately and usually contact a business within one day of performing a search. This type of customer's action can lead lead to an increase in actual appointments, sales, or contracts for your business rather than, a flood, rather than a flood of inquiries or the promise of future sales you may receive from direct mail, email marketing, social media, and print campaigns. For example, I was working recently with a friend of mine, right, Mituma, Brothers Press Control. They have no online profile at all a month ago. Nothing. I think there was a few who look specifically for Nituma Brothers Press Control, Press Control. The only thing that will come up is a profile they have at a local BNI, right? Nituma Brothers Pest Control. But now, obviously, because I'm local, right? Google obviously feeds me the information when I do a search of for Nituma Brothers Press Control. Plus, I usually go there often, but this is what's happened now, right? Before you don't see nothing, even worse, the competitors will come up when you were doing a search, okay? Um, but now look at this, right? They basically dominate the whole page, the whole um, page when, when, they actually, when people are actually looking for their, uh, uh, their business, right? To my brother's best control, they have the, the uh, Google profile, uh, it's all completed and filled up. You can see their hours of information. You can see the uh, pictures and posts that they've done, um, and phone number, address, because this is a service business. Uh, you don't need to list your specific address, right? They don't have a specific location. So you can do that with, uh, for example, with Google and other services. Um, and that's why it says Fairfield, California, right? But it has obviously a, um, a rage uh, uh, for... Solano County area. <clears throat> and then you can see there the website, the second one, uh, Yelp, Yellow Pages. Um, the competitors coming up here, they're very strong, they have a longer uh, presence. It, well, see, we even uh, uploaded some videos, so that's even great, right? It uh, also comes up on video search results. Um, I, I sent them up a LinkedIn profile. It looks like uh, that was a strong. Um, factor for Google to provide as well. So that works is another competitor. Um, uh, but yeah, little by little, they, they're, they're, it, they're gonna be coming up more and more whenever they do their search, right? Uh, this is just something that it got completed. So it, it takes some time. It takes time to, the more uh, content you provide, 
the more Google will uh, reward you and provide you in coming up in the search results, right? You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight places where it comes up, uh, all these are paid advertising where uh, the my Brothers Pest Control is coming up and this is something that basically we just launched within I don't know, a month, uh, within a few weeks that we got completed. Um, and we're, st we're still in a work in progress, but that tells you right there the power of uh, creating an online listing profile. So attract customers already in need. Promoting your business to those who already have a need for your goods and services is much easier than trying to convince customers they have a need for your services. So think of this as... People actually searching for something is because they have a need, right? Whenever they go to Google and I search for, oh, I, my tooth hair, I need a dentist, right? And so that's what will happen. It will provide a search results. Now, obviously, because here are a bunch of dentists, uh, uh, as a customer, I may need to take some time to go in through into each of this and see what type of uh, information I can read about them, especially on the reviews, uh, because I have so, you know, obviously if I search for dentists, it's um, general dentists are so quite a few here in the area. Um, if I do something more specific like under orthodontist or dentist surgeon or something like that, maybe the, the search results will, will be less. But um, because I just put dentists, obviously, um, is too general and um, they will come up with a lot of results that I have to go through and, and do my own research. Um, but that's what it means, right? That, that, that promoting your business to those who already have a need. Um, I have a need because my tooth hurts. I'm looking for uh, somebody as opposed to trying to convince somebody, which is the, basically the typical direct marketing where you put in the magazine or were you coming up on Facebook and in a video promoter promoter ad saying that talk, talking about things about why they should um, use you or coming up on a TV commercial, right? Why they should use your services or a radio commercial or newspaper, etc. Right. That's the difference between what is saying here. Promoting your business to those who already have need for your goods and services is much easier than trying to convince somebody. Now, obviously, you still want to take every approach if you have the budget. Like, for example, we don't always need to go to Walmart, but Walmart bombard us with commercials all the time. So in our head, all we know is that Walmart is the place to go for most of our uh, household here uh, at home. So small business owners must attract both types of customers, like I was saying, right? Those with an immediate need and those who may not know they have a need to so build a successful business. Online business profiles help attract customers already in need. Even if you face competition from other small businesses in your area, having an online business profile can still help you build a lucrative customer base, especially if your area is big and right, everybody can take a share of their pie. Did I say that right? Yeah, you know, basically, you know, let's say there's 10 dentists in the area um, and, you know, with the population of... Uh, I think if we have a population fair for, let's see, population in Fairfield, California. Wow, about 116,000 in 2017. So, so pretty, pretty big, pretty decent number, right? Uh, and so, obviously, 10 dentists, 10 general dentists, wow, for 100,000, um, <laughs> if you could go, if you can catch 10% of that, right, uh, that you, you're doing pretty good. So, uh, even if there are competitors, right, you still uh, may be uh, able to uh, be lucrative in the business. That's, that's what he's saying here, obviously, depending on your area. If you face competition from other small businesses in your area, for some customers, the difference between your business and the competition may simply be the location or hours of operations. Yeah, that's true. A lot of people go to different way of thinking. Uh, how far this location is for me? Uh, what are the hours of operations, right? Because perhaps I work specific hours. 
um, do they have Saturday open? That's the only day I can make it. That will be an influence uh, for me, right? If, if, um, if, if that was a need that I had. So other customers look closely at cons consum consumer reviews, right? Yelp, Google reviews, Facebook uh, recommendations and all that of each business before making a purchasing, purchasing decision. Those business reviews can substan substantially impact traffic and sales for local establishments looking to build a brand and attract customers. With this kind of unpredictable, it's best to be as visible as possible to all people searching for internet for in the in for internet or should be in the internet for your goods and services. Now, here's a good list you can use, popular business review site. One thing you want to keep in mind is that you have to ask around in your other, you know, with your other business owners around your area that are in similar industry to see what other things they will recommend you to have your business listed on. So, for example, um, I know you, I don't want to give the, the example for Yelp that, hey, if I'm a carpenter, I'm, I may not want to promote my business. I, I may not want to list my business on Yelp. The reality is that, yes, even though people, a lot of people go to Yelp for um, mainly to get information about food, uh, at least that's the way I use it, still Yelp has such a strong presence online, right? It's, it's such a powerful um website that you still want to have your business listed there even if it's not properly uh for your business right like a like a contractor or electrician or anything like that um again the reason why is because it's it's such a powerful it, it, it provides um such a powerful presence right so you still want to be there but still uh you you want to um find uh local uh, you want to find online listings that apply to your business so for example i would not go to list my business and my restaurants on Angie's list um okay or i will not go and list my business on uh if i'm on a, a carpenter or on websites like we have now like open table for example right and, and i have a carpenter because upper table is more for reservation restaurant of, of reservation so that wouldn't make sense or a glass door yeah so there's a good a great ideas here that i still gotta apply so, but let's review some of those right uh you have merchant circle so i'm gonna take some of this information as well to uh use for my customers and myself better business bureau a lot of this allows you to set up uh free profiles so uh, but keep in mind that obviously you are also sharing information with them so guess what next thing if you use their free uh profile um, obviously expect uh, in, increase uh, number of calls but unfortunately it's not number of calls of uh, customers right that you you see the increase right away but it will be instead of uh, salespeople that work at these uh, organizations trying to obviously try to uh, upgrade it to their uh, paid services so yeah go ahead and explore all this set up profiles and all this and make sure to keep a uh, uh, a spreadsheet or a database of all the different profiles you created because then if you something changes you want to go back to those places and change it uh, and a lot of this required to set up a, uh, a user ID and password so the spreadsheet will help you as well to keep track of all that information um, especially if you get an assistant that can do this for you right they will have a list of all that if, instead of going and trying you to remember where where is it that I have a business listed uh, so hopefully that information will help you. If you are a local business owner in your Solano County and you are wanting to know more about uh, how your business is ranking online, you can come to my website. I'm doing a free checkup. Uh, I'm providing a free checkup for your uh, business. So you can come to digitaltrack.co um, forward slash scan, scan my business. You will put your information there. And then when you do that, what's going to happen is it's going to send me your information so I can go and do the research, right? So it's not going to um, do it right away. Uh, it's going to do it right away. It's, it's going to take me some time to get that information. If you do want to uh, do get information right away, you perhaps can go to places like manta.com uh, or yex.com. Those places, they do an uh, uh, online search for your business right, right away. 
you, all you have to do is provide some information and they will go ahead and scan everything about your business online and provide you the results right, right there. Uh, but then we, if you still need some help understanding or how to go about fixing some of the stuff, go ahead and contact me, right? Go ahead and call me. I'm local here in Solano County area. Uh, you can find me on Facebook, definitely, in other areas as well. So my number is 707-410-0307. You can call me or text me. Um, you can go to my web, main website, digitaltrack.co, um, and find my social media as well in this location. Okay. One thing I want to mention is that if you um, like this, like the, find this information useful, uh, please go ahead and sh um, share it with somebody that you may know that may need it. Go ahead and subscribe if you if you feel that you want to continue to receive. Uh, in notification about my video hit the little bell actually if you're watching this on YouTube to actually subscribe and get notifications that you're watching watching my videos if you have any questions go ahead and post it there uh, one question I have for you is that what is the your what what are your what what things are you doing what websites are you using to uh, this is the question that I have what websites are you using to list your business let us know comment below um, and also if you have any uh, feedback for me go ahead and please uh, let me know that's how I, I can be able to I'll be able to improve uh, I'll be able to come up with ideas on continue to provide um, uh, future content for the area in Solano County for small businesses in Solano County all right have a good one bye